From Rev3 Games, Max is here. Here I am. And Jonathan Holmes is Jonathan here, you guys. Holmes. Nice to see you. It's been a while. Hi. <laughs> uh, we just checked out the remake, the HD remake of Jet Set Radio. Jet Set Radio. I yeah. am such a huge Jet Set Radio fan. Jet Set Radio! Jet Set Radio! That guy's intense. He does it really good. That's that 90s jazz coming right back that for is, us. That's, it's, not, it's smooth. Yeah. It's, it's smooth, smooth jazz. Yeah. It, so what did you think of the, of the remake? I, it looks beautiful. Yeah. And that's a big plus, obviously, if you're buying an IC system, you expect improved visuals. Mm -hmm. But it's kind of a jab to the genitals that so much of the soundtrack may not be on it. I'm still kind of yeah. on the fence. There's so we were told that 70% that of the soundtrack is coming back mm -hmm. and confirmed right now. And, and what we're being told is like, since Jet Set Radio came out, like record companies have gone under, right. uh, artists no longer exist, uh, islands have fallen into the ocean, and just some of the music, they just don't know where to get it from anymore. So 70% of it's in there. They're going from the Japanese soundtrack. Uh, the visuals look exactly the same. Everything's been upscaled. The the cell shading stuff works really well. Of course, the textures are, you know, they're the same resolution that the textures were back then. Sure, but, but with I, cell shading, textures yeah. aren't so much of an issue. Exactly. When it first came out, we were struck by, like, Dreamcast power. Yeah. It used the strengths of the Dreamcast and didn't, like, overshoot what the Dreamcast was capable of, and it really nailed it. And it brought a piece of, like, Japanese street culture. Mm -hmm. Like, the music and the style and everything just felt like you were a cool Japanese, like, 16-year-old who was, like, skipping yeah. school that day. It's, it's interesting because with games from that period, frequently our nostalgia gives us these wonderful rose-tinted goggles that make yeah. everything look pretty, and so then we go back a, and actually so see it. And then let's say this. As somebody who just played it, How'd you feel? I think it looks incredible. It looks uh -huh. like a game that came out maybe two years ago. Yep. Uh, and that's that's wonderful. Controls. Mm, I found it a little disgusting. bit tricky to pick up. Right. Right. That's something yeah. I actually asked them about. My big complaint about the game on its initial release is that the camera adjust button is the yeah. same as the spray paint button. Exactly. Which is dumb. It's just not what you do with a controller. Because spray paint is a limited resource in the game, right. and if you accidentally shoot off a can of spray paint because the camera's fucking you out of landing your jump, right. that's double frustration. Exactly. So now they've added the, the camera control to the right thumbstick, which I think is a huge, 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 huge improvement. But what I think people who play new sports games are going to have the most problem with it's is too hard. there's no... Well, there's a slight magnetism to grinding surfaces in newer games. I wanted to grind on rails that wouldn't let me grind on them. I was kind of yeah. hoping I would be more clicking on there. Because if everything's kind of wacky and everything's sort of space age, I'm not really looking for realistic sure, skating sure. action. You know, I kind of want to. It's realistic, just... it's just hard. It's like classic hard video game. Yeah. And it gets really hard towards uh, there's these chase sequences that I still can't do. They're super intense. Yeah. I got back into it and I was like getting my muscle memory back. And I was doing all right, but like, yeah, it's hard. It's hard, and I, and I think like a little background tweaking of that control that maybe was like a little like unnoticeable, like they didn't make a big deal out of it, but maybe they just fixed it a little bit, sure. made some of that wall grinding easier to do, yeah. the wall jumps, made some of those uh, railings like a little more magnetic. I think it would appeal to more people. Obviously, I think if you loved Jet Set Radio back in the day, this is perfect. Mm. It's better than perfect because they fixed the camera. But right. if you're coming at it kind of fresh, this might. It looks great. It looks yeah. wonderful. It's more about the style. You'll you'll enjoy the style, I think, but the gameplay may take some getting used to. I think. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you uh, if you love the old one, this is the old one, and you're gonna love this one. If you haven't played it, uh, I think it's still a hell of a game. I think it's, yeah. I mean, they're not gonna be charging sixty bucks for it. I imagine right. it's probably gonna be ten or fifteen bucks. And uh, if you want to see what all the fuss is about, I mean, I I'd still go for it. Sure. Yeah, it's it's, enough it's a feature length game yeah. still for the for the price. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So that's coming out this summer. We don't have an exact date yet, no, but we'll we keep you updated uh, here on Rev3 Games, youtube.com slash rev3games. And, of course, on Detroit as well, youtube.com slash Detroit. John Holmes, Jonathan what have you been doing? Jonathan Holmes, Jonathan Holmes, Jonathan Holmes, Jonathan Holmes, Jonathan Holmes, Holmes. What have you been doing? A lot of stuff. Different shows, different articles. What have you been doing this weekend? What should people watch? Excuse me. I, I did a thing. I did a talking to women about video games. Was special. she hot? She's, a, she's a, a very classy young woman with a lot of... A dynamic traits. Was she, she got, was she letting it all she hang out? She was super out? hot. She's got a wonderful. She she's got a wonderful personality. She she's she really got, got good involved. with people. She's, she's introduced me to her. Why don't you ever introduce she's me to the hot girls that you know, she's Jonathan Holmes? She's, 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 she's a star of lollipop chainsaw. So I talked to the star of lollipop chainsaw. 
about sexism. Watch oh my it. God. Go he it. had sex with Lollipop Chainsaw. That's not true.